uh, Jennifer has her idea about this, but I said, whenever I talk to anybody about a movie that involves sports, inevitably the actor or actress on the other side of me will say, well, this really isn't about sports. So in this case, there are guys who follow the draft religiously, and they are, they've got their folders open, and then there are people who don't watch football. Do you think it matters one way or the other? If Not where this movie is concerned. I mean, anybody at the end of the day is going to say, oh, I wish there was more of this. I wish there was more of that. It's okay. What, but we have this movie, and I'm really comfortable how it sits for both, both fanatics. Tell me what you think about this, which I think is very cool. In this film, you have some people who pop in some decent names in the showbiz world for one scene or two scenes. I think they must have either, A, wanted to work with Kevin Costner, or B, saw the script and said, I love this moment, and yeah. I'll take it. Which was it? Well, I think they had to have liked the script. They're not fools, because one reason why they've been able to do the things they've done was because they can... They can um, differentiate between wanting to hang out and also wanting to get some work done. I don't think my name hurts. I don't think it hurt when it came to the NFL because they don't really endorse movies. Yeah. And I wasn't going to do this movie unless the NFL endorsed it because I wasn't going to make it with fake names and fake teams and fake jerseys. So I think that's a, one of the reasons that props itself up so nicely. Yeah. But we did have people come in who, who want to be a part of a classic movie, and I think Ivan Reitman did that.